each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. Inna alhamdulillah. نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه واله وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار brothers and sisters in islam السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته فاعلم انه لا اله الا الله a command from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to you to learn about la ilaha illallah brothers and sisters in islam talking about tawhid somehow somewhat difficult on some of you but hang in there insha allah we will make it very brief and simple for you to grasp bismillah ta'ala what la ilaha illallah means it means la ma'buda bi haqqin illallah no one has the right to be worshipped and obeyed but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It means that you single out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all that you do, whether it is inner actions or outer or words that you utter. قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لا شريك له وبذلك أمرت وأنا أول المسلمين Say O Muhammad My salah The salah that I pray My sacrifice My living My death Is to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala The Lord of all of mankind And he has no partner Brothers and sisters in Islam I mentioned last episode That the disbelievers Understood La ilaha illallah Very well I'll give you an evidence Fi sunnah al-Tirmidhi Min hadith Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas Radiyallahu anh That talks about The individuals Whom the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Commanded for them To be Killed During the time Of the Conquest of Mecca Certain names Because they insulted the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and some of them became Muslims and then they returned back and so forth. One of them was Akrimah ibn Abi Jahl radiallahu anhu. Akrimah, the son of Abi Jahl, Fir'aunu hadhi al-umma, the fear of this umma. Of course, upon hearing what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has decided regarding himself, Akrimah fled and he got on a ship in the Red Sea. And while the ship is sailing, a storm hit. Look what the captain of the ship said. Ayyuhal nas, akhlisu fi du'aikum. Be sincere about your du'a and call upon the right God now, the right ilah. Because your idols will not be able to save you in the sea. Look at Akrimah, radiyallahu anh. Radiyallahu anh Akrimah. He said, if my God can it, cannot save me in the sea, I should not be worshipping him in the uh, uh, outside of the sea. And he said, لَإِنَّجَّانِيَ الله. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves me, I will go back to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَلَا أَجِدَنَّهُ عَفُوًّا كَرِيمًا And I will find him forgiving and generous and he will accept me. And he returned to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Akrimah 
radiyallahu anh and he became a Muslim and subhanallah right here the captain of the ship is telling them listen your idols cannot help you here at the time of distress look at the other story which is the story of Islam of the father of Imran his name is Hussein ibn Ubaid radiyallahu anh and the story in Sunan al-Tirmidhi even so some of the scholars of hadith have spoken about its authenticity but here it is Hussein ibn Ubaid radiyallahu anh came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with his son Imran the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him Ya Hussein kam min ilahin ta'bud how many gods do you worship Hussein said I worship seven gods six of them in earth and one in the heaven look at the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his method of da'wah he told him which one do you invoke and you call upon once you go through hardship and calamity you know what he said I always call for the one in the heaven Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells him shall I teach you some words that you can invoke that God that Ilah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the heaven Hussain said yes and Hussain became a Muslim a shahid or the important thing here that even the disbelievers knew what la ilaha illallah means and that is why they were ready to fight not to say it because Abu Jahl knew that if he says la ilaha illallah he's going to end up to be equal with Bilal the slave and he is the master and he is the leader of Quraysh brothers and sisters in Islam we need to learn what la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah means that you single Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your actions with your words with your sayings with your hearts anything that goes through your heart must be singling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is called sincerity being sincere and you know the opposite of sincerity is shirk that you associate someone that you do something for Allah and another associate arrival with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you know whatever you do meanwhile you are sitting arrival in that which you do with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it will not be accepted Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned a sacred hadith hadith Qudsi uh, and the hadith fi sahih al-imam muslim in hadith Abi Hurairah radiyallahu anh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said ana aghna shuraka'i an shirk I'm all sufficient. I need no associates. I need no partners. فَمَنْ عَمِلَ عَمَلًا أَشْرَكَ فِيهِ مَعْيَ غَيْرِ تَرَكْتُهُ وَشِرْكَهُ Whoever does an act for me and for someone else with me, you and his associate can go away. I do not need them. Brothers and sisters in Islam, sincerity is one of the conditions for your act to be accepted in Islam. This is what la ilaha illallah means, that you must be sincere. Whatever you do, you must do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise, it will not be accepted. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us about the first three people from this ummah who will be called in order to be asked about what they did. And the hadith fi sahih al-imam Muslim in hadith Abi Hurairah radiyallahu anh yu'ta Bithalathin, three individuals will come in the day of resurrection. One of them memorized the Quran. Another wording of this hadith with Ibn Hibban, he was a scholar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. The second one, a generous person. He spent all of his money in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At least he thought so. And the third one, he spent his life the most beloved thing to any of us, your life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call each one of them individually and he will remind the half of, of his ni'am, of Allah's favors upon him. And Allah will ask him this question, what did you do with this? He will say, oh Allah, I memorized the Quran and I recited it all day and all night for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell him, kathabt, you lied. You did so in order for the people to say that you are a hafiz, in order for the people to say that you are a scholar, and they said, 
the second person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remind him of his favors upon him. And Allah will ask him, what did you do with it? He will say, oh Allah, I spent all the money that I have in your cause. I maintained a good relationship with my kins by giving them money. And I found no cause for you, but I spent in it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell him, you lied. You did this in order for the people to say that you're generous. You did this for the people. You did this for yourself to be known amongst the people to be generous. And the third person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remind him with his favors upon him. What did you do with it? Oh Allah, I fought in your cause and I died. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell him, you lied. You did this for the people to say that you are brave. Look at this brothers and sisters in Islam. Deeds that anyone can dream of. A hafiz, a generous person, and someone who gave up his life. But you know what they lacked? They lacked sincerity. They did not do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us about the person who memorizes the Quran with a with he's going to be ma'a safarat al kiram al barara in the day of resurrection he will be with the noble of the angels rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that fi sunan al darimi hadith abdullah ibn mas'ud radiyallahu an that every letter that you recite of the quran you make one hasana and the hasana multiplies to 10 wala aqulu alif lam mim harf ولكن ألف حرف ولام حرف وميم حرف but ألف is one letter لام is one letter ميم is one letter بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم by itself if you say it sincerely 160 حسنة what is the difference between this one and the one who was taken to the hellfire this one was sincere he achieved لا إله إلا الله he did what he did for Allah but the other one he did it for the people he did it for himself. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that a person who spend in the cause of Allah, مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةِ أَنْبَتَتْ Like a seed that grows with seven ears. In each ear, hundred seeds. Seven hundred times. وَاللَّهُ يُضَاعِفُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ And Allah will multiply for whomever he wants. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَقْبَلُ الصَّدَقَةَ بِيَمِينِهِ مِنْ أَحَدِكُمْ بِيَمِينِهِ ثُمَّ يُرْبِيهَا كَمَا يُرَبِّي أَحَدُكُمْ فَلُوَّ And it will grow it for you, like one of you bring up a little horse until it becomes a big horse. What is the difference between this one and the one who was taken to the hellfire? He lacked sincerity. La ilaha illallah. He did not single out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his action. Brothers and sisters in Islam, how can you achieve la ilaha illallah? La ilaha illallah means sincerity. And sincerity is in the heart. Al qalbu mustawda'u al ikhlas. The heart is the storage of sincerity. And you will not be able to achieve sincerity while you have three things in that heart. Let's discover what they are so that you can remove them from your heart so that the tree of sincerity can grow. Remember, la ilaha, no ilah. You must remove the, all of this. You must remove all of this out, and then you must place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are three things that you must, you must remove from that heart first before you plant Allah, la ilaha illahu, in your heart. Don't miss the next episode. Ramadan is your second chance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book, you revealed therein to guide us to the light. By your grace, you sent us this Quran each day that we recite. And for the book, you revealed therein to guide us to the light.